Hello, my name is Aaron, and welcome back to the Retro Gaming Collective. Hello from rainy Delaware. It has been a little while since I've updated you guys on my PS5 collection, um, but I actually just like literally logged off of work not 10 minutes ago. Um, and I wanted to unwind a little bit by showing you guys my PS5 collection. And I wanted to also talk about some of the games that I've played, some of the games that I've beaten, um, because I am currently going through uh, a challenge where I, I beat, I wanna beat 40 games by the end of 2021. I'm on game number 11 and I am almost done. A good chunk of those have been PS5 games, but I'm trying to diversify and try some different things. Um, but real quick, I do want to let you know that this entire stack of PS5 games was completely free to me. Um, either I, so to start, I'm a reseller. Um, primarily, I want to add things to my collection, but the things that I find that are doubles or things that I don't want for my collection, I will resell on eBay so that I have a continual cycle of fundage to pump back into my game collection um, so that I can buy things like PS5 games at full price because they are... Some of them are like 70 bucks now. It's crazy. I remember back in the day, you could buy a brand new game for $49.99, and now you're paying 70. Times are crazy. Um, so they're either, I paid for them that way, or several of them were gifts. Um, now, I know I've covered a lot of what I had in previous videos, but I'm going to start from the beginning, and I'm just going to talk about um, everything that I've done with them. Um, so without further ado, let's dive in and talk about it. So I do have these in alphabetical order. So I will start with, uh, I just don't want these to fall over. Give me one second here. All right, so we got Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I have not played this yet, um, but it is still sealed. This was actually a gift from my father for Christmas um, and I am gonna get to it eventually. I'm trying to beat games earlier on that are shorter so that I can then jump into longer games at the end of the year. Um, when I have a little bit more time and I can take a little bit more risk in long games. And I think this is going to be one of those longer campaigns. I'm holding off on this one for now, but it looks super cool. I love Viking stuff. I really, really do. It's awesome. Then I have uh, Demon Souls here. This is also still sealed. I bought this a while ago. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm not sure if I'm going to play it or I'm going to leave it sealed for a while. Um, so I don't do real well with like the super hard games. I get frustrated. Um, so, <laughs> you know, believe it or not, all this stuff, I am not great at video games. I just really enjoy stories and things like that. And this seems like it's going to be a little bit too much of a challenge for me. Um, but I don't know. Maybe someday I'll try it. Maybe I need to have a little more faith in myself. Now this one, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Um, I loved this game. I have not played it online, but I have played the campaign. It was one of the first games that I beat for the PS5. Absolutely love it. It looks incredible. Highly recommend it. Um, again, I don't know what the online is like. Um, I've heard it's disappointing, but I, I can't comment on it myself. But if you're looking for like a good starter PS5 game to see what the engine or see what the the uh, the graphics look like and and how the the system runs, this is a good one to start with. Um, now this one I've also, my pile is going all over the place. This one I've also just beaten. This was a gift for my father at Christmas as well. This is a game called Godfall. It had horrible reviews. Did not have good reviews. Um, I think that this game looked beautiful. It reminded me of, back when the Xbox One first came out, Rise Son of Rome um, was kind of this game that had like repetitive gameplay, but it looked incredible. And that's kind of like, I would say Godfall is the rise son of Rome of the PS5 era. Um, but I actually really enjoyed the story. I really enjoyed the way it looked, um, the way it played. The story was fun. Um, and it was, it was actually pretty challenging, but not too challenging. Um, so definitely recommend this if you can get it for a good price. You'll probably see the dog jumping around behind me. But yeah, definitely recommend that. And then, actually just beat this as well. Um, Immortals Phoenix Rising. Um... I don't know what I can say about this game. It's, 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 if you like ancient Greece and you like that, like myth, myth, mythology, all that stuff, like the gods and all that, this kind of is the game for you. It's super tongue in cheek and like fun, 
and but it's still got those like RPG elements. It's very puzzle based, very combat heavy, um, but super super fun. And I I went, I tried to move through pretty quickly because I am doing that challenge, so I didn't experience all of the side quests or that extra god DLC that you can get. Um, but from what I played, I put probably I don't know, 25 plus hours in, um, and I really enjoyed it. So definitely, definitely recommend this to you as well. Um, and then next we have Maneater. This is one of those games that I started and haven't finished. Um, I found this one to be a little bit repetitive. Like it's super creative that you're, you're a shark and you're doing all these things and you're eating people and eating boats and all that. Um, but I found it to be a little bit repetitive. Um, but maybe at some point I'll go back to it and give it another shot. Um, but yeah, this was, this was one of the ones that I really, really wanted when I first got my PS5 and I just was a little bit disappointed by it. Um, but yeah, so we'll move on from that one. This one, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. This game was super cool. The campaign was short, um, but it felt like watching a movie and then jumping in and fighting real quick and then continuing your movie. And it's very easy to like get into and like it just looks awesome. Um, <clears throat> now I grew up on Mortal Kombat. I was actually talking about this with a friend. Um, I know lots of kids who either grew up on Street Fighter and then lots of kids who grew up on Mortal Kombat and I was definitely a Mortal Kombat kid. Um, so this was really, really fun for me. Definitely recommend that as well. Now, this is one of the newer ones that I bought here. Um, Override 2 Super Mech League. I, I don't know much about this game, um, but I got a really good deal on it. Um, I got it off of Amazon. Um, again, like I think it's a fighting game where you fight his mechs and you're fighting the other guy. I don't know, but it's on my list to try. I just thought it was really, really cool to, to add to the collection. So we'll get to it eventually, maybe. We'll see. Then we got... Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. I got this on eBay for like 15 bucks. I played it a little bit, super Japanese-ish. Um, it just, I don't know, it just seems again like a repetitive. I couldn't really follow the story because there is some kind of story going on. Um, but yeah, so I played this for a little bit and then moved along. <clears throat> now this one, Sackboy, my wife and I have been playing this for a, a while. Um, we'll just play a couple of levels here and there when we feel like it. Um, but this is really cool. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's just a good platformer. It's fun. It's challenging, um, but super interesting. And the artwork is cool. And it's just super PlayStation, right? You just can't beat it. It's a great, great game. Very fun to play with, like, multiple people. Then we got, I haven't played this yet, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Um... I heard really good things. Um, I'm just not a big superhero guy. I'm more of a Star Wars guy, personally, as you can tell by looking around the room. Um, so this one wasn't really high on my radar, but I couldn't resist picking it up based on the reviews and things that people have said about it. So there's that. And my wife got me this for Christmas. This is Spear of the North, uh, the enhanced edition for the PS5. Now, I, as I said earlier, I don't do well with really hard games, and this was a super chill game that I could play after work and not really worry um, about getting frustrated. Like you're just this little fox and you're running around completing puzzles. Some of the puzzles were hard, but it like looked nice and it just, the music was relaxing. So this is a good unwinding game. I beat this one. I loved it. Um, as you can tell, I just, most of the games that I've played for the PS5, I love. So then we got Watch Dogs Legion. Now, I actually got this from GameStop, but I paid $2.99 for it. Um, <laughs> reason being, it was going for $29.99, but I had a game coin for like 20 some bucks, whatever it was. And um, I ended up only having to pay $2.99 out of pocket. And, you know, that was game money, so it was free already. <clears throat> so I basically got this for nothing. Um, it's still sealed. I heard it's horrible. I probably won't play it, but for $2.99, I couldn't resist adding a new PS5 game to the collection. <clears throat> and then this one I also know very little about, but I've wanted it just because it's like so unique looking. It's Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. This is the most recent game that I picked up. Um, one of the most recent games that I picked up, I should say. Um, but it is definitely on my list. 
Um, again, I know nothing about it, but horror stuff is fun. So here is the full stack of 14 games in alphabetical order. Um, so I'm going to continue to work on this stack. I'm going to grow it and I'm going to continue to play the things that I already have. And I will continue to update you guys. So if you have any questions about the PS5, the games, things like that, feel free to reach out to me here. Um, you can like, comment, and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff or like game hunting videos. I do a lot of that. Um, or you can follow me on Instagram at the Retro Gaming Collective. Um, but until next time, I appreciate you guys checking out this video um, and happy hunting.